If you're wondering where to go food shopping in Rome, keep watching this video. First up on the list is Castroni. Castroni has three different locations, one near the Line A Flaminio Metro stop, one near the Line A Ataviano stop, one near the Line B Policlinico stop, and seven other locations throughout Rome. Castroni is open from 9.30 a.m. until 1 p.m. and then again from 3.30 until 8 p.m. from Monday to Saturday and obviously is closed on Sundays. At Castroni, you can find American products like Aunt Jemima pancake mix, maple syrup, spices, different kinds of flour like almond flour and coconut flour and coffee beans and wine and tea and food coloring and artificial flavorings for cake and etc. The list goes on. They also have your basic Italian products like pasta and oil, um, usually at a better quality. Castroni can be a bit pricey, so I wouldn't recommend shopping there on a weekly basis. If you have that kind of money, then do it. Go for it. But if you're on the frugal side, like me, I would suggest stocking up at Castroni about once a month. Next up on the list is the Esquilino Market near Vittorio Emanuele. This is my favorite place. No, seriously though, this is my favorite place to shop for food. You can get to this market by taking the tram at Termini for about three or four stops and then afterwards take a five minute walk and you have arrived. If you want more details about how to get to this market, just leave me a comment. The Esquilino market is good for package products as you can see here. But more importantly, this market is really, really good for those of you who like to eat healthily or organically. It has fresh food like nuts, fruits, beans, vegetables, fish, and meat. I didn't record too much of the meat and the fish section because I was a bit grossed out by the sight. But trust me, they do have a large section of fish and meat to choose from. And it's open from Monday to Saturday, from 6 a.m. until 2 p.m., but it's closed on Sunday. So let's say you don't have so much time to go to Castroni or to the Esquilino market. One of the most convenient and also cheap options for food is right in your local neighborhood. If you take a walk through your neighborhood, I'm sure you'll find a local convenience store where you can do some last minute shopping. Most noticeable are the fruits and vegetables that usually sit outside of or behind the front window of these small grocery stores. But if you go inside, you'll see that you can also stop at these convenience stores for things like soda, juice, biscuits, rice, etc. and household products like toilet paper, shampoo, and etc. Now if you do happen to have a lot of money or maybe even just want to treat yourself to fine food products in Italy, you should definitely check out Italy. Italy is about a 10 to 15 minute walk from the Piramide and Guard Batella Metro Line B stop. Italy is a bit expensive, but it's worth it because you really get good quality for each euro that you spend. Basically, you can digest it really quickly. Really? See, so really is, it, is it as healthy as wheat flour? More. Because basically this, this flour comes from like they found it in a, a tomb of like an Egyptian pharaoh, uh -huh. and uh, so that's why it's so expensive. Not only does Italy offer a wide selection of the best and exclusive Italian products from all over Italy, like pasta and wine and sauces, to name a few. It's also fully stocked with household biological products like soaps and shampoos. You can find books here as well. Another great thing about Italy is that before or after you do your shopping, you can sit down and eat something like pizza or pasta, or you could even grab one of these delicious sandwiches followed by some gelato afterwards. These are just 
my preferences for food shopping in Rome, but you can also give your local supermarket a try, whether it's Todi's or Carrefour or Conad or etc. If there's anything that you'd like to know that's related to living in Rome or Rome in general, message me and I will post a video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so and check out my other videos. Bye.